you know, when you write something, like say if you have an idea, if you're just sitting around, you're like, I have a thought. Do you just sit down and do you go, okay, this is a tool song, this is a perfect circle song, this is a pussifer song? Does it just like No, because what I'm what I'm writing to is is the music that I'm hearing from those people. So that's all you write to? I write to the music because that way it's a unique it's a unique island situation. Mm. Those those things are gonna whenever I've tried to write, I've had some poetry sitting over here that I wanna write mm -hmm. and I've tried to uh, force it onto a song for any of those projects, it doesn't work. It hmm. doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't seem to fit. So you need to hear the song. I need, I need to hear the finished thing. You know, f f almost finished thing. And then put lyrics to it. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Get the get the melodies in place. Get the rhythms as if I'm an instrument. And Is that can... how you guys did that Fibonacci song? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. That was a really unique undertaking. How? What? What was the process behind that? Like, did you? Did you say, hey, it would be a nifty idea? Do something to a mathematical sequence? Nope. No, uh, that was a complete accident. Uh, I think it was, I think it was Adam or Justin who had the riff, and at some point they were actually counting, counting the riff, and it ended up being in uh, seven, eight, nine. I think it was like a, you know, a, a measure of seven, a measure, maybe a measure of nine. I'm not sure how you would actually write that out as a, and no, and notation, but, um, you know, I think 789 is a Fibonacci number. Um, just that, you know, the actual 789, mm -hmm. I think. I think. Uh, I have to look at it again. It might be 987. For people who don't know what the fuck we're talking about, the Fibonacci sequence is a very unique mathematical sequence that appears in nature. It's uh, It's in fractals. It's in sunflowers. If you look at, like, the pattern of sunflower seeds, if you look at nautilus shells, and what it is, it's uh, an expanding fractal sort of a mathematical equation. I don't know if I'm saying it correctly, but it's like the first step is zero, and then there's one, and then there's one, 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 two, one, three, one, five, one two, eight. two plus, th yeah, and right. it just keeps going on. So but that's the that's the Fibonacci number, like the right. whole number, like actual number sequence. There's there's the uh, phi ratio, one right. point one point six one eight. Anything multiplied by the one point six one eight that that or not not multiplied the relationship, uh, the difference uh, the difference in the length from uh, this finger to this finger as opposed to this finger to that finger. Those those knuckles uh, in your digits, those are all in that in that relationship of one point six one eight, the phi relationship. So that the fractals. As it's as it's growing, that progression is uh, is that is that ratio, and then the number breakdown is as you said, it's one one two three five eight thirteen. Yeah, 21, so like so one on. plus one is two, two right. plus one is three, three plus two is five, right. five plus three is eight, and it's like everything you you count, you add what came before it, and you got a spiral uh, picture like of a Giza plateau showing you the. Mm. Well, also facial structure, which is really fascinating. Yeah. There's something about human facial structure that uses the Fibonacci sequence, and I read something where about why people recognize plastic surgery while it disturbs them. Boom. Yeah, it's like, what's going on with the sequence? <laughs> like, the sequence is off. So my friend... Uh, yeah, here it is. Yeah, my friend. The Fibonacci relationships of the human head, and yeah. it's all... Uh, I had a friend who said, you know how when you know a, you know, a, a, a family has had a child who has Down syndrome... Right. There's there's a there, it, does, it, it crosses racial divides. It just you can tell this this family has had that that child has Down syndrome. There's mm -hmm. a look that goes along with it. And he said it's the same look, you know, not the same look, but like it's the same recognition of people who have had uh, facial plastic surgery. Mm. You recognize you're not fooling anybody. You right. are you've done a thing that's recognizable universally as wrong something's wrong with your face Some, there's, an, there's an off yeah it's off yeah but i thought it was funny that he was actually connecting it to down no disrespect to people with down syndrome but um yeah i know what you're saying yeah, yeah but but it is like when you see someone with a disease like oh there's clearly an error here in the code yes yeah and, and the and the facial reconstruct like the you know, plastic surgery because i'm just oh shit I, i'm getting older yeah. This will fool them. Well, the nose thing, too, is weird. Like when someone has a uniquely small nose and their mm -hmm. face, you know, they might have like a long, like Ari Shafir type face, but then they have this like shrunken down nose. You're like, hey. Yeah. Like this seems fucked. Right. This doesn't, there's a ratio that's supposed to exist and yeah. it doesn't exist. Not, Why not your there. lips? But, you know, in a, in a, in a, 
in a way, a song like Lauderellas with the Fibonacci thing, that's, that's a, I feel like I kind of pulled a very pedestrian, sophomoric move by including those numbers in there because in general, music is the fire ratio. Everything, everything that all nature, all these things we're talking about, it's already here by, by pointing it out, like staring at it and pointing at it with those numbers uh, present and the and the way that the the numbers and the lyrics are, I feel like that you know it's good to let people know about it, but I almost feel like it was kind of a it was kind of a dick joke mm. in a way. It's it's um I could do better. 